Good morning, my friends. How are you guys doing? It's been a while since I have filmed a video for you guys. Today is Monday, March 18th, 2024, a day after St. Patrick's Day. And if you have not Subscribe to my YouTube channel, The McGuire Life. I love you to subscribe and become part of The McGuire Life. My name is Jeremy McGuire. And in this video I am filming for you guys will be a tutorial video. How to use the Dish Interactive Program Guide. This guide will work for the dish hopper whole home dvr joey and wally receivers now the the joey or joey's are a part of the hopper system so this will work now the joey's are dependent on the hopper and I want you all to know that and so are the Drake TV genie mini clients so this is my brand new dish 54.3 remote it replaced my old dish 54.1 remote that remote quit working completely so if you want to check out that unboxing video of this new remote click that video down below this video and you will see that unboxing video so now if you have direct tv or any other cable tv provider out there and are not used to the dish operating system and the dish 54 series remote like this here you came to the right place and today i will show you how to use the program guide so I will zoom in I got dish escapes on I get the volume turned down for copyright I do not want to have no copyright strikes on this channel Get y'all situated here. So, when you want to pull up the program guide on this dish remote, all you gotta do is push the guide button above the Google Voice button, and then list of channels will come up on the guide I got the guide set to the large font I'm illegally blind and I can't see the guide that well so if you have the guide is set to the, the default setting. The guide will show up eight channels at a time. So I got the font at the large setting. So there at the top right is 
your current program you're currently watching. And then you will have your title of the program and see the time and date. And then below that you will have a little description of the program you have selected by this red box you have highlighted. So to navigate around the program guide you see the d-pad right here up down right left you push the right button and it'll take you into the future A bit later on in the day now if you hold down the left arrow button it'll take you back to the current time and on the left side of the red highlighter you have on the channel and program is your channel number and icon as you do see so when you want to I'd say you want to go a page up at a time you see this channel button right here? The channel up button? You push that channel up button and it'll take you a page up at a time. You see? When you want to flip the page. Now, if you want to go a page down at a time, you push the channel down arrow it it will take you a page down now now if you want to go 2 hours at a time you push the skip forward button instead of pushing the red arrow button and you push the skip back button to go back two hours until you get to the current time this is your info button right here you push the info button it will give you the time remaining on the left And under the rating of the program, it'll show you it's on now from the time it starts and ends. And then right beside that will show you the description about the program.
And right below time remaining with the green bar highlighted, you have these options right here. Watch, record this, or record series. So this is your summary right here. And you can check the episodes. You can check the cast to see who's on the program. And if you want to know about the rating of the program, you, you go to Parental Guide. And it will show you what, like, the like the show will have course language and all that. And it will say this might be unsuitable for kids. That parents might not find that program suitable for their children at a young age. And then right under below the channels, is the uh, add that once you to uh, check out what's on demand and you push the play pause button to go to on demand but you need to have your hopper enabled to the internet it will not work if you don't have your internet enabled. And you have to have either your hotspot enabled on your phone or home Wi-Fi internet. Now, you can punch in the channel directly by using the keypad right here, the number keypad. Like, for example, the weather channel is on channel 214. And then you punch in 214, and you're right there. To select a program you want to watch, push the select button in the middle of the D-pad right here. And it will take you right to the channel that you want to select and watch. So you see, I am going a page up at a time right now. I am pushing this channel up button. Now, if you have a Dish 40.0 remote, you will have to push the page up button to go a page up at a time and if you want to go a page down at a time on the 40.0 dish remote you'll have to push 
the page down button. And that 40.0 dish remote is identical to the first generation or second generation Dish Network Remote from the 1999-2000 era with the four mode buttons at the top. You know what I'm talking about. And another helpful tip if you have a, say you have a problem with your guide button and you want to go to the program guide you push the home button twice and then you'll have your search DVR on demand it's the fourth one is your guide and you push the select button and it will take you to the program guide like that too in case your guide button does not work on your remote or some buttons don't work so that's a very useful tip right there if you're having problems with your remote with some buttons that are not working you can have that work around and down here you will have your diamond buttons the double diamond button is underneath the number nine button uh, single diamond button is underneath the seven button so i got the double diamond button to toggle mag magnification on and off so I push this double diamond button, you'll see. Magnification is enabled. So I push the guide button. Now the guide will show four channels at a time. And then you will have to navigate around because you now have magnification enabled. Now, the way I disable magnification is pushing the double diamond button again. Now, magnification is now disabled. That makes it much easier instead of having to go into the menu, go to settings, accessibilities, and doing it from there. So I found another quicker way was pushing the options button twice but I found out I could customize these two buttons right here the diamond and double diamond button to control the aspect ratio setting now I'm pushing the 
diamond button and the double diamond button toggles magnification on and off and plus you can set these two diamond buttons to record a program because this dish 54 series remote does not have a record button on it so the way you record push I'm not going to do it but you see that record box right there right by the close option right there then you can record your program there now if you're in the guide and you want to record a program you'll push select and then a message will pop up and it'll say if you want to record a program or record a ser the series then you can do that from there and it's very easy to navigate the program guide once you have gotten used to it and figured it out and this guide will go about a week out So I am flipping through the page or the pages on the guide I'm going a page up. So I'm pushing the channel up button. Now, if you want to exit the guide, you push the back button and it will take you back to the program that you're currently watching. And that's very easy to navigate once you get used to your dish hopper, home home DVR, or your Wally receiver. The guide is the same as the hopper and the Joey will receive the same program guide from the hopper. So I want to let you know that the Joey's don't have a tuner in them. They use a Mocha network the coaxial or if you have a wireless joey it'll have to use a wi-fi connection from i think the video bridge is what they have to use with ditch to make the mocha connection so i want to let i want to let you all know that so when I post this video to YouTube, this video will be very helpful to you. And leave a comment down below this video. And remember, God loves you and just be who you are. It doesn't matter. 
what people may think. How you look or, you know, they like to be judgmental. You cannot be judgmental to other people. And we all go through hard times and that's okay, you know. You know, we just have to push through and thank the Lord that he's the one to help us pull through and I love you guys. And God bless.